Hey everyone, this is Steve from GamersNexus.net and today we are looking at Genius's GX gaming style uh, software for their new line of gaming peripherals including the Death Taker mouse which we just reviewed, I mean listen to that name, it is the Genius Death Taker and that review is online in the link in the description below. This I am currently using the Gila mouse, that is how that is pronounced and uh, for all intents and purposes this is actually the same software so uh, if you are looking for either mouse this is what you get when you install the drivers and here we see all the different buttons there are four main tabs in the top we have assign buttons which I am on manage macro where I will show you how to create a macro advanced settings and light options so really not too different from that Logitech software I showed you recently except this one is a little bit uh, a little bit prettier looking I guess you could say so let's go through and look at how this all works I have one profile out of six already set for Rift which is an MMORPG and I have bound different buttons to things I do in Rift so here we see I have uh, Rift Alt Bar 11 which is a macro I've created let's uh, I, I'll show you how to create a brand new set of macros so here we go to profile 5 I've done nothing with it this is the default profile if we go to this button I can click on DPIY and I can set different functions so we have basic mouse functions LMB, RMB, MMB and Windows 4 and 5 uh, we have office functions we have play stop pause uh, media functions um, volume up and down which is these two and macro DPI fire keys fire keys interesting you can make it effectively left click three or five times or user defined times so if you're playing an FPS and want to do like a burst fire button on your mouse you can actually do that whether the FPS will register or not some of it depends on their anti-cheat software uh, but you can indeed program that to the mouse and then basic profile switching let's start with a macro I need to create one first so let's go here and click on new and we need to give this macro a name we will call it the uh, the rift combo move or something like that so you see here we have macro name these are all the other ones I've created and we've got rift combo move and then uh, really you just hit record and record what you're doing so I don't want to record delays between button presses I want it to be as fast as possible so I will hit record and let's say I'm on uh, I, I want to jump to hot bar number five so for rift I do shift five to jump there now let's say I want to hit abilities one uh, and then give it a, uh, a two three and then we'll hit a finisher move with shift Y and then after that I want to jump back to hot bar number one and continue my uh, my killing spree there so we can stop recording in a game like Rift you might have a buffer for how many abilities you can fire simultaneously so if that is an issue with your game you can insert a delay let's say there's like a cooldown or a, there's a, a channel that's a good example say it say the ability or spell channels for I don't know uh, half a second you can tell it you can give this a delay a uh, 500 millisecond delay in between button presses so for example in between one and two you can tell it wait 500 milliseconds and then hit two and then you can keep doing that and just basically program that delay to whatever is necessary for your game so that is pretty cool we have saved this as rift combo move we can go to assign buttons assign this as macro rift combo move repeat once meaning execute once do not fire it over and over and then OK and now when I hit that button in the top left it will do that combo or that macro so that's how this part of the software works you can save the profile as a .ini file and load that elsewhere if you move the mouse so that's the manage background assigned buttons uh, tabs let's look at advanced settings these are inherited from Windows properties so uh, of course you are familiar with the mouse speed and basic sensitivity what that actually represents um, enhanced pointer speed is mouse acceleration and no one wants that so we will turn that off double click speed how quick the double how click quickly you need to double click in order to execute the actual uh, function in Windows scroll speed how many lines polling rate is interesting it's just how frequently the uh, the mouse interrupts your CPU so the mouse actually has a CPU in it as well and it will pin 
the computer CPU X, uh, you know, it's a it's a report rate and frequency. So we could set it to a thousand hertz. That's pretty fat, pretty re regularly. Um, now I did experience issues with one kilohertz where it would actually disconnect the mouse from the system. It would stop detecting it for a certain amount of time. And Genius told me that was a defect on their part. So we have traded samples with them. And uh, you can read more about that in the review in the future. Anyway, you also have DPI staging. These are uh, different buttons here where basically on the mouse there's a, uh, a big button right between the scroll wheel and some other buttons. I know that's not very uh, descriptive, but it is there. It, actually, I can show you on this assigned buttons page. This button right here, this circle, is the DPI button. So you can see my mouse speed changes as I'm clicking it. I know you can't see me clicking it, but uh, it is going through different stages of DPI that I have set. And you can do that here. Stage one, basically you hit it X number of times to get to one, hit it once to get it to two, again to get it to three, again to get it to four, and so on. You drag this to change the actual uh, DPI for that stage. So again, pretty straightforward. You can enable XY DPI if you really want to. And beyond that, you have lift up distance for how far the mouse will uh, will interact with the surface when it's lifted off of the surface. And then we have lighting options, which are, again, probably the most straightforward out of all of this. You can set intensity and pulsation rate and the colors. So really, there's not much more to it than that. This is for the Gila. The Death Taker does have different uh, lighting areas. We can apply all of this with the Apply button. It will do so. This is the slowest part of the software. It's a lot slower than the way Logitech uh, handles their application of changes. But, you know, it works, so whatever. Uh, and there we go. Now my mouse is 8,000 DPI, so I can't control it anymore. And you get the idea. That is the Genius GX Gaming software. Hope this helped, and I will see you all next time. Peace. Oh, God, I can't click on the stop button because my mouse is too fast. There we go. Peace. <laughs>